Well, welcome everyone to this interview of a CWS past president in celebration of the CWS 50th anniversary. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak with Jihun Lee, who was the 2017 president of CWS. Um, Jihun, I'd, I'd like to start out by asking you, what, when you were president of CWS, um, what do you feel was the most pressing issue that you had to deal with? Hi, Donna. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the interview. And yes, I serve as CWS as a president year 2017. And then my one of my vision uh, as a president was uh, to creating a new mentoring program. So um, the Unlike the most common uh, mentoring program, we created uh, on the go OTZ mentoring program uh, with uh, the strong leadership from the Monica Johnson and Donna Yu and uh, OTZ program. And this program is uh, uh, quite different from the typ typical mentoring program in which you know mentor and a mentee paired and their long-term commitment. This one is whoever needed, members needed some help from the other members or other experts. Uh, they requested some uh, supporting requests. Then there are two, uh, the first uh, responders who can respond to their, their, their request, members requested within short time period, let's say 48 hours. Then uh, they, they communicated a few emails and then dissolving that problem. But if there is a, some problems are not uh, deserved by the first responders, then the, there is a committee member for the OTZ and then the committee members are, uh, the, the join that the issue. So that was a quite a, um, you know, to me, it's a remarkable moment that we, uh, our team created. And then I do hope that when a lot of uh, uh, CWS members utilize that, that the mentoring program. Well, I'm delighted to be able to report that the, the program is ongoing and is still being used. And so um, that's, that is a, a really remarkable contribution. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that we would both agree that um, mentoring, appropriate mentoring remains a really important issue and mm -hmm. um, that, that we need to continue to think about it. So um, that's, that's a, very, uh, a very nice memory. Mm -hmm. um, so ex following that path, um, talk, talk about some of your other favorite memories as, uh, during your term as, as CWS president. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, we regularly um, meeting through the online, you know, Zoom or uh, uh, Google Hangout, we regularly meet. Uh, however, we've, we meet in, uh, also at the JSM in person. So we have a host uh, uh, table uh, in a welcoming table uh, during the JSM meeting. And uh, we sitting there and uh, we uh, welcome new members, also all the friends. And, you know, this is a kind of a fun meeting place. So I, I had a really wonderful time a lot. Um, then we have an annual business meeting and social event during the JSM uh, meeting. And, um, you know, the 2017 that the meeting was about 100 participants for the, uh, the business meeting, which is a very, one of the largest social meeting during the JSM meeting. And then first time I felt, wow, finally, this CWS members are getting younger. You know, it's a, <laughs> previously it was a little bit more senior members mm -hmm. sitting there always if you go to the annual meeting. But now 2017, when you see that one, very young faces. So it was, it was of course, that was a pre previous the former uh, president before me did a considerable effort to make more diverse and to stretch out to, or reach out to the the younger generation of the statisticians. And then if finally the 2017, when I went to there, oh my goodness, this is it. I mean, the new energy and the very dynamic kind of, you know, discussions during the uh, meeting. So it was a wonderful. So that, that is one of my favorite memories, I, I would say. 
that that is that is a, a spectacular memory. I guess um, I I might add that one of my favorite memories um, during your presidential year was the opportunity to work with you as a part of the Women in Statistics and Data Science Conference. So um, yes. I think you know that was early on in in the, in that conference, and so we um, mm -hmm. we had some fun. I think planning yeah. that conference. I think so, you know, the not only just the, as a professional organization, I think the CWS somehow members, the, it's developed a new friendship, you know, it's a, always a professional relationship, but also a new friendship. And uh, that is also, uh, it's, a, uh, it's not commonly seen in, from the other uh, groups. So I think that this one is, uh, it's a very fun thing so to to being being with the CWS member. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I think that's a real strength of the of mm -hmm. the organization. Um, so, uh, what as you as you think back about your time on um, as a member of CWS, um, what are what are some of the the things that you remember the most? Uh, give us some historical tidbits um, about your um, participation in CWS. Yeah, so I I shared this story already a few times. It's because of it's a really um, it was a, to me a kind of a, like a pressing switch. So very beginning over time uh, when I was involved in the CWS, I was just a program uh, committee chair or something. So I I, I formed uh, I. I formed the, the invited session for the JSM meeting. So we, uh, we had a very wonderful um, speakers about it. This was about a genomic topics. Then uh, I was uh, chairing for the session. You know, people don't believe that if I say I was uh, so shy and, and I was uh, so nervous to speak uh, front of people. And I even, I didn't know what I was uh, talking about. So I was holding that the microphone as a chair for the invited session. I was holding this one, but I was so nervous. And then I was, my voice was, oh, the, the speaker was, the first of the speaker was. And then people in the behind, of course, in the room could not hear at all. So the, the Elizabeth, my watch is, she came to the very front to me said, listen, Microphone is a symbol symbol of power. Use it. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, and of course, you know, I said it was not only it was a, she came to me and then saying that one was a is already I was a shock, but <laughs> that I never thought about. I had never thought about what it means that the holding microphone, you know? Um, so I, I, I had been thinking a lot about that, the short statement, you know? And then, you know, Elizabeth is a wonderful, she never missing CWS event or she never shy to support advocated CWS, but she just came to me she doesn't, she didn't care what other people think, just came to me and then, you know, just let me know or give that the statement. So I think so that one was, so I always talk to this, so I use this one, to, this statement to the younger generation a lot too. Although these days the younger generation is different, of course, you know, they are very different from us. But I think that, that is not just a microphone, but I think it, it, it means a lot of things. Oh, that's a great story. Yeah, no, um, the, uh, I, I think, I guess that that really, um, for me, that that actually really describes what CWS, right? It, it gives power to women's voices, which is um, exactly. Yeah, which is wonderful. Gets, so that, yeah, that's a, yeah. that's really wonderful. Um, okay. So um, in, in two words or three or four words, whatever you would like, um, how, how would, how would you de um, describe how you feel about CWS? You know, um, when I saw that the question, I immediately thought the two words is a, to me, support and passion. So I haven't seen anybody who doesn't have that passion. And then with that passion is to support others, you know, the other woman in 
statistics. So the CWS mission is to promote women in in statistics, right? And then, so I think so the example I uh, mentioned about the uh, Elizabeth, I think that, you know, she just wanted to support. I mean, and then that support without her passion, that would not happen, that she, she would not do that. So I think that the other two words are really, uh, you know, it's just uh, attached to the CW as the core value. So that's how I can say. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so I, I asked this question um, when when we had a, a, a pa another panel of, of women, and I think it's a really it's a really interesting one for me. So I'm going to try it out on you and see see what you think. But as you as you think about this, the folks who will be gathered together to celebrate the hundredth CWS anniversary. Um, are, what, what are the things that you see over the next 50 years that we should be, or, you know, 10 years, whatever, I, I recognize it's hard to vision for, for 50 <laughs> years, but what, what about over the next, um, you know, number of years that, that we should be working on to make sure that the 100th anniversary um, is a world that we're, that we're happy about, pleased about? You know, um would be very different, don't you think? I think, yeah. you know, and, uh, when I was a junior, we didn't have uh, this kind of uh, things. I didn't know this uh, support, even I didn't think of that one, but uh, somehow this uh, CWS and other also organization, uh, a lot of things, even including Me Too movement, a lot of things is a mix. It's just a change it, uh, you, the way we think. And in 10 years or 20 years, um, you know, more uh, diverse, I think so we are natural. Right now, uh, to me also, I sometimes have to wonder whether I have implicit bias in terms of uh, diversity, you know, and also inclusion, those things, because I grew up in that culture, you know, even though my had think no this is not right maybe but i may still have implicit bias so still it is a, in progress you know the to work a fair world to have to live in the fair to to contribute it to make this world more fair inclusive and then uh, uh, and then also diverse so maybe in 10 years or 20 years you know individual would not have to work yeah, I mean, just the, you know, this is natural, and then, but I, I don't think that this will come naturally. You know, this one is not just a still. I think in ten years, or twenty years, still this to, to, uh, there is a lot of uh, needed work to change the world right now. So it's not like a, a still easy way to move forward. And then, you know, our effort, that's why I think that this one is we're doing great. But I think at this moment we celebrate, but I think still we should work together continually and, you know, until when we don't know, but mm -hmm. I think that that's the what uh, I envision that. I mean, it takes uh, how many years it takes uh, to come to us for here? I mean, 100 years, 200 years, you know, I, so how long it gonna happen and to make fear us that one, that's it, that's exactly what we wanted to see, right? Uh, how long it gonna take it? I don't know. So, but I, uh, one thing I can tell is uh, not is still not easy road front of us yeah that i think that that's that's really very well said we um we have made progress but we need to continue to be forceful and thoughtful mm -hmm. about about moving forward yeah. um well i want to thank you very much for your time um and before we end just give you an opportunity to um answer any question that i uh, didn't ask that i should have so if you had any final thoughts we'd be delighted to hear them no, I, I, I think so, uh, the, we discussed, I think, so, you know, most of the things we wanted to talk, uh, key, key factors we talked about. So thank you again.